Now Shafi Effect Series number 8 As how we have promised you earlier that we would be informing you on some of the other things where if you do it during the month of Ramadan then it will nullify your fast This could be due to some of your physical actions or some of your spiritual actions Now how is that? Number one if you apostate, if you go out of Islam, then your fast will be nullified because of apostasy. Number two, if a lady who gets hail, she gets a menstruation while she's fasting, or if she gets nifas, nifas is postnatal bleeding, or if she gives birth, even though if there was no any blood that came out as she was delivering, her fasting will still be nullified now the other thing that will also break your fast is if you become insane during the daytime of Ramadan and even if you would be in a state of insanity even for a second it will break your fast throughout the whole day the last one that will also break your fast in the daytime of Ramadan is that when you are unconscious throughout the whole day of Ramadan from Fajr time until Maghrib time you are not conscious you are unconscious this is not sleep if you sleep since before Fajr until Maghrib then when you get up after Maghrib your fast will still be valid if you have done the intention in the eve of that day however if you are unconscious you faint you go into any state of unconsciousness it will definitely nullify your fast if your unconsciousness lasts from Fajr until Maghrib however if you only become unconscious for a minute or for an hour or for even two three hours in the daytime of Ramadan and at other times in the daytime you are awake then your fasting will still be valid and this is the same as for those people who are drunkard now we can see sometimes some people when they at the eve of the day of Ramadan for example at the, in, 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 the, in the evening or in the late night they go and drink but they say that I want to fast in the daytime of Ramadan okay if he stops drinking at a particular time before Fajr but he was still drunkard as he was fasting then know that if he recovers from his drunkenness before Maghrib anytime before Maghrib it could be in the midday it could be in the late afternoon as long as he recovers from his drunkenness before Maghrib then his fasting will still be valid however if he does not recover from his drunkenness until Maghrib then his fasting will not be considered as valid because he is considered as amongst those people who are in a state of unconsciousness throughout the whole day of Ramadan. We see you again on the next series, inshallah.